I think everybody looked at the robot and described their own human features to it because it does have two sets of cameras that sort of look like eyes. It is sort of designed to give you a sense of being a person and working in human spaces. What we're really trying to do is get robots out of the lab and into use with people and figure out, you know, how are robots going to be able to, to help people do more, uh, accomplish more things, and also improve the quality of life of everybody across society. There are certain examples that we think are, are really compelling. Uh, being able to assist the disabled, being able to help the elderly, but the real barriers to entry right now are accessibility. Robots still cost a lot. Uh, they're still difficult to interface with. Traditionally, I've worked in the areas of, of robot learning from demonstration, where, uh, where you don't have to, to be a programmer to, to, uh, to control the robot, to program the robot. There's many different ways you can actually teach a robot. One is you can just show the robot what you want to do. You can have the robot watch you do something. That's really hard because the robot now has to track your movements and has to perceive what are the things that you're interacting with. A much easier approach is to just take the, take the robot's arm and guide the robot's arm through the motions that you want it to execute. Uh, another approach is to treat the robot as a remote control device. You take the robot's perspective and you're joysticking the robot through the actions you want it to execute. Once we do those demonstrations, our task is to take that data, apply machine learning and, and statistical techniques to it such that we can extract essentially a mapping from what the robot sees at a given time to what, what action we want it to take. We'd love to make it uh, based on uh, what we call natural language commands. Uh, so that you can you can sell the robot, you know, can you pick up that glass for me? And it would it would pick up the glass for you. I just want to show the, the suitable technologies beam uh, remote presence device. So I can access this system from anywhere around the world. Uh, so I was sitting right here where Aaron's sitting uh, this morning. I was like, all right, I just want to go check in in the lab. So I beamed into, into this system and essentially drove around my lab. I can just do this uh, myself. Uh, in addition to, to not being reliant upon somebody to just be there uh, to take the call, uh, I can also affect physical change in the world, literally change the world. <laughs> Robotics is really an extension of the information technology revolutions that we've had over the past few decades. What computing did over the last 40 years are the same things that robotics will provide now, except that we have more, more wisdom about the technology to, to do it better, uh, to make it, you know, to, to not just think about uh, how these systems are going to improve our, our productivity and, and help us do, do more, uh, but also think about how we can improve everybody's life across the world, across the socioeconomic spectrum.